because black everything matters. Black I'll be back with my commentary. Matters. When they see you walking down the street, they don't see a human being. They see what's been perpetuated in society. They see what's been perpetuated in the media, that you're aggressive, that you're violent. But I know that these behaviors that are being exhibited are actually depression and anxiety. And unfortunately, society has taught you that anger and lashing out and fighting back is the only acceptable response. I am pleading, pleading that you'll seek help because women are hurting. We want you to be better, but I'm getting attacked. People are calling my employment asking that I get fired because I want you guys to be better. Mm. Again, like I said, I apologize for my delivery. This is a little spicy sometimes. But just know that my anger and my frustration and my passion is coming from a place of needing. I need y'all to heal. I, I don't need it. Society needs it. Child, you need it too. You need it. Have enough pride about yourself to want to do better. I understand I might not be the clinician for everyone, but I'm damn good at my job. I understand I might not be the clinician for anybody, but I've sparked a conversation. I've shook the table. If the words that I'm saying are resonating with you, please go talk to somebody. If there's a gap, fill that gap. Become counselors, become mental health professionals. So we can heal each other, so we can heal ourselves. That's true. All that I ask is for men, black men specifically, just to build a greater awareness of yourself. That's all that I ask because your lives can improve radically as a result. Full transparency, accountability moment. Um, I was a dusty bitch till I fucking went to therapy. I didn't realize that I was in an abusive oh, situation. That cussing. I didn't realize that I wasn't communicating effectively. I didn't realize all of these things about myself until I went and talked to someone. And I just pray and want that for you. I want you guys to feel seen. I want you guys to feel heard. Because you deserve it. All of us deserve unconditional positive regard. And I may not have shown that in the video because it's the internet. But when it comes to session, I am open. I provide a therapeutic, non-judgmental space because that's what the fuck we deserve. Because the society is not kind to us. It never has been. So we have to create that inner peace. And in order for you to do that, you have to be able to express Things that you have been through. You have to expand your emotional vocabulary. You have to want it for you. You may not like what I say and you may not even like me. And that's fine because you don't know me on a personal level. I get that. But. I just want you guys to know. That. I'm not going to stop talking about these issues. I'm not going to stop talking about healing. She need to become a YouTuber now. Talking about the better she didn't got fired. Because it's me. I am a black person who endears the struggles and the tribulations that black people endure. I know what it feels like to be my laws. I know what it feels like to be counted out. I know what that feels like. So I apologize if anybody felt that I was coming at them or felt shame and anger. Those aren't good emotions to feel and I completely empathize with that. But my message is clear. Please go help yourself. Okay, I'll be back with my commentary. And yeah, I just played that clip for you of the young lady, uh, the black young therapist that got fired. Um because of that rant that she did on um, TikTok about er, um, pleading and trying to urge black men to get therapy. 
I happen to agree with her and I think she's absolutely right. And I'm going to explain to you why in just a minute. Um, but I think the reason why she got fired, a lot of people was people were reporting her because first of all, you can't, when you're a psychologist, you can't talk about your clients or um, you have to be careful what you say on social media with any job that you have, particularly if you're a therapist. And um, I think she crossed that line, the confidentiality line, talking about her clients. And, um, um, you know, you're not supposed to, you know, do any of that. And, um, you know, she probably, where, wherever the place where she was working that she probably made them, they probably felt like she made them look bad. And she was too emotional and she was, you know, um, like when you're a therapist, when you're in that field, you know, you got to be really careful what you put on social media and stuff like that. And I think that's why she got fired. I think that uh, her delivery, um, if her delivery had been better, if she had came on and maybe sounded more professional and, you know, she could have made some of those same points, but made it make it sound professional, like take her personal feelings out of it. And it's come across and, and make it sound more professional and talk about um, lack of uh, mental health in the black communities and um, some of the things that happens in the black community as a result of bad mental health. And she could have went into all that and then and just made it sound more professional and and and, and then encouraging giving, you know, um, really encouraging black men to seek therapy and state the reasons why they should seek, seek therapy and all this type of thing. If she had it came across more professionally with her emotions out of it, I think that she would have been okay. But she came across as, uh, you know, a lot of people took it as her bashing black men and everything like that. And then I think she she broke the uh, confidentiality protocol, which is a no-no in any healthcare position. So I think that's probably why she got fired right there. But I do, I happen to agree with her. Um, a lot of black men think that she, you know, that she getting roasted. Black men are roasting her on social media. She's getting roasted, out, you know. Mm -hmm. I see, you know, they, they uh-huh, yeah, professional black woman, you know. She, you know, they're, they're, they're roasting her. She's getting roasted from here to Mars. Um, and, you know, um, when you really, really listen to her message, she's right. She's making a lot of valid points. Um, not just black men, but black women black and black children. Um, all black people need to get um, therapy. You know, all black people can benefit from therapy because we are traumatized from racism. Racism is very traumatizing. We're all traumatized. We're all dealing with trauma and um, lots of things is going on in the black community um, as a result of mental health issues and the black femicide rate is going up. Uh, I mean, when I look at the black femicide rates and then some of these black women are, 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 um, are going off and they're killing their children because of all the stress that they have on them and everything. So it's a lot of black women that are suffering mental health issues as well. Uh, being single parents and everything and, and everything in the system is just getting so hard. Plus with, you know, you add that racism to that systematic racism and all that. It's, it's a lot on people and a lot of things that's taking place in the black community. It's a lot. It's it's a lot. And, and I, and I think all black people can benefit from um, therapy and it's a stigma in the black community of going to therapy, you know, cause we're supposed to be so strong and, you know, that's overrated and it's a huge stigma in the black community of black people going to therapy. Um, and we, that stigma, stigma needs to be broken, you know, and it's because of that stigma and, you know, we trying to be strong and all that kind of stuff is really, really causing detrimental effects in our community. And it's, it's on 10, it's on 10, you know. Every day in the news, I'm hearing about, you know, black women being killed, you know, gun violence in the black communities is increasing. It's on 10. It's on 10. And so I happen to think that she's absolutely right. Um, uh, particularly, you know, black people need, but black men, yes, because, you know, that male pride and that male ego 
you know, they really don't want to seek therapy, you know. And, um, yeah, in a larger scheme of things, she's telling the truth. Black men do need to seek therapy. Maybe her delivery, her delivery wasn't good. Maybe she was too emotional. She was putting her personal feelings in it and everything. And she maybe she was unethical and maybe she was unprofessional and um, broke um, um, confidentiality and all those things. But when you really listen to the me message, she is telling the truth. Black men do need to seek therapy. Because when you when you look at these black men on YouTube and how they be you know spouting off about black women and bashing and I mean a lot of them and I read read a lot of their comments and comment sections and things and blogs and stuff like that. Some of them really really sound disturbed. Some of them really sound disturbed and not just bitterness. It's not just bitterness. It's it's anger and a, a lot a lot of black men are holding on to a lot of anger. And, um, you know, men have the tendency to internalize everything. And so, you know, that makes it worse um, because uh, men men in general are, are, are socialized to hold in emotions and not cry. And and um, and that's the worst thing you can do. We, we have to change how we're socializing our little boys. And, um, you know, and, you know, and as a result, men are internalizing everything. And so it. It, it does cause mental health issues on down the road. And so, yeah, black men definitely can benefit from, you know, therapy. Um, and um, her encouraging, there was nothing wrong in itself with her encouraging black men to go into therapy. You know, but if you can get past the emotions and all that kind of stuff, what she really saying was she was right. I happen to agree with her. Um, it's unfortunate that the young lady got fired, but you know, you gotta be careful on social media, particularly if you got a position like that, you gotta be careful on social media. And, um, I don't like the way she's getting bashed and, and stuff, but, um, well, she said some black women reported her too. People, some people reported her, you know, but, um, yeah, I agree. You know, um. You know, black people shouldn't be bashing each other, you know. So, you know, it, it's it's so much, it's too much happening in the black community to be in denial. We can't afford to be in denial. It's too much happening in the black community. It's too many, too much blood being shed. Um, too much blood shed. Um, something needs to happen, you know. But um, let me know if you heard about that. It's been trending all over. Let me know what you what your thoughts are on that and what you heard about that. But yeah, she's right. You know, sometimes you, some things we don't want to hear, but we need to hear. You know. But you know when it, you know a lot of times when the shoe is on the other foot, you know black a lot of times black men can dish it out, but they can't take it. They can dish it out, but they can't take it. And when the shoe is on the other foot, you know, they, they never like it when the shoe is up on the other foot. And they don't never like it when a mirror is held up to them. But they love holding the mirror up to everybody else. But, you know, even if you're telling the truth. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is. Hit me up, like uh, like this video, share it, and um, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Until the next video, be blessed.